Hey you guys, it's Cami with Coast DIY Bar and I thought I would jump on and show you our newest paint pour, cactuses. I'm super excited about the cactus, more than the big cactus, than just the baby cactus, because he's precious. Um, in this afternoon, I'm gonna actually show you two ways that you can pour your uh, cactus. So I've just grabbed three colors, that's what you'll get and a cup we're going to do the flip cup first actually i need to rotate myself just a little bit so that i can i want to be able to slide my paper hey marissa yeah i love the cactus i've had it for a, a few days and you know trying to get the workshops out has been um kept me busy okay so i'm going to do two different methods on this and i have no idea if my second method's going to work but you know me, I thought I'd go live and try it and see how it goes. So first method is gonna be just our typical flip cup pour. Uh, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do these colors. So this is a copper. This is like a dark turquoise -y color. Hey, oh, hey, cloudy Oregon. Um, and then white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put silicone in the turquoise, I think this afternoon and because I think that the metal like in my mind and I have no reason to think this other than my mind but I have this feeling that the metallic paint should be heavier than other paint it seems to make sense in my mind and so what I don't want to do is change that one because I think I feel like that's going to give us really cool natural cells. Um, if you get kits, you notice, hey, Sharon in Maryland, uh, I started cutting the popsicle sticks in half because it just seems silly to give you a whole popsicle stick. I don't think we need it for these kits. All right, and you know we gotta stir these. Uh, the paints do sit for a little bit. They're fine if they sit for a while, but you wanna make sure you stir them when you get them. All right, so if you're just joining on, I'm doing a, let me put that there so you can see it. Our new pour is gonna be a cactus pour. And I've got a couple of cactus things coming. And like boho, southwestern, I'm feeling that right this second. I feel like maybe we go into fall with like this southwestern boho vibe. So that's kind of my, my thing. So I'm just going to, the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna do two today. Uh, both cactus and the first way I'm going to do it is our normal flip cup and if you haven't seen me do them before the trick is in my mind to get some layers out of your paint cups I could dump each one in totally and just get three layers but I find that creating multiple layers is better for getting um, the cells I did not add the silicone and the copper. I, I feel like, I don't know, you could, it wouldn't hurt it, but the silicone makes your paint lighter and I want the copper to be, I want there to be differences. And so I believe, <laughs> and it could be wrong, I believe that the copper should be heavier. Maybe the concept that it's metallic is throwing me I'll use that as my cup. And then, so all I did was I lightened, I put the silicone in the, the green turquoise color. Uh, I'm working on a coral color for our paint pores because I do feel like we need that. We had it in the beginning because we were just making paint off the DIY bar and well, we ran out of paint. So this line that I use for the paint pores doesn't have a coral. So I'll find something else pretty quick. Okay. So the first one I'm going to do is just your typical flip cup. Um, I, Y'all, I haven't even done it yet. I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to get it up on the arms. If not, uh, I'll show you the trick. But in my mind, this is going to be good. All right. We're going to flip. And then we're just going to put it right down on that. And then... Um, while I'm waiting, what's happening is all the paint's dripping through. So imagine like the copper is heavier than the green, in my mind again, that's what I think. 
And so what's gonna happen is it's gonna push fast through that green paint. Same with the white. I know the white is a heavy paint too. And so you're gonna get a cool effect from that. Um, while I'm doing this, I need to tell you that our Sunday workshop is full. Yay. Uh, we had a, a sample run yesterday. Uh, so thanks Lee and um, the girls that came in to help us give that a test run. It's different, you guys. Like, there's a little moment of, um, like, being nervous to touch things, and we'll get used to it. Everybody's going to adjust. I mean, you know, hey, we're not idiots. We can figure this out together. But there was a moment, um, but I do think we have things. Uh, it did help us to knock things out. So tomorrow morning, we have our glass etching, and then Saturday afternoon, we're going to have our first full DIY workshop. Full meaning three tables, because that's all we've got right now. Um, but I'm going to be putting on more sessions today. So I'll post those out. Okay, you guys ready? Let me turn this. So this is the first one I'm doing. I'm doing two. So stay tuned. Don't don't hang up on me yet. So we're going to do the flip cup pour. That's this one. Uh, and then I'm going to try swipe. Now we haven't talked swipes yet. And so I'm going to show you what that is. This is going to be really messy. Um, I just want to get my paper towels close. Okay, let's roll. So I'm gonna pull it, I'm gonna move fast. My goal is before the paint drips off on its own, I want to guide the paint where it's gonna go, which really in this instance is gonna be out on the arms. All right. Ooh, that was a lot of paint. Yeah, it's plenty. Okay, I was worried that it wasn't gonna be enough. Uh, as evidenced by the amount of paint on the table, it's plenty. And I could not love that color palette more if I tried. Okay, love that. So this is good. I'm getting a ton of cells and it hasn't even sat there long. You guys know the longer that it sits, it's gonna pop up cells. Um, with every kit, you get a baby, right? Uh, unless it's like a, like the paw kit, you don't get a baby, but with our regular pour kits, you always get like a little miniature. And with this, all you do is find a spot that you like and you're gonna dip it. Let's see if I can do this where you can see it. You wanna really just smoosh it in really good. It needs to be gooey like that. And while it looks weird right this second, it will actually turn out really cool after it's six. Oh, Barbara Joy's here. All right, so that's the baby, and it's a little gooey, and we've had some people ask, is it okay if it's thick? Yep, it's okay that it's thick. It will flatten out, and it will dry, um, and these will continue to change for a little while. So I'm actually just going to take a lid. Can you see that right there? And I'm going to set this on the lid. Okay, option number one. Now, I'm going to show you a different method that can be done on anything, but I'm just gonna do it on this one. Because here's my thinking with like the Southwestern feel. See this little section right here that goes horizontal on the piece? That feels very Southwestern to me. So I'm gonna try to force that now with what we call a swipe acrylic pour. Even though it's, it's you're pouring and swiping. I'm gonna do a swipe barb live. Ooh, I haven't cool. tested it. No, who knows what's gonna happen. My people are on, they'll support me even if it fails, all will be good. Okay, I'm gonna do these colors, which when I picked them out looked really cool and now I feel like it looks like Halloween, but I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> I know. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead just because it's over here and I'm gonna use that other cup. And I have to sit this one this way for my idea. All right. So for this one, I'm going to put silicone. I'm, I'm going for a specific look. So I'm going to try to get more cells. I'm going to put it in both. And notice that all I'm doing, thanks, Gail. Whew, everybody cross your fingers. Uh, notice that all I do is I dip my popsicle stick in. If it's too much and it's drippy, let it drip off. It's not, I've used this one like a thousand times. So there's really only a little bit left. And then you dip it in and just stir it thoroughly. 
Try to get that silicone nice and mixed in. And yes, it does feel like you're not putting really much in there, but it's enough. When you do the big ocean pour, I don't change the method. Y'all look, it's a crazy hair day today. I'm freshly washed, which y'all know looks insane. I have a haircut appointment. I'd like to announce that out to the world, finally. It's on the 17th, so there's still two more weeks of this y'all got to deal with. Okay. All right, so I do not have a flip cup for this one. All right, who knows what's going to happen. I've done a swipe before. I'm not the best at it. So if I can do this, you can do this. Okay, so all the materials are the same because we'll add a big popsicle stick into your piece. That's what I'm gonna use to swipe. All right, so with this swipe, I'm going to be putting the paint on this way. And I'm doing it in layers. Imagine like, and clearly green and purple was not the way to go, but you could do like sunset colors would be much cuter than what I'm going to create. I don't know why I picked these. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. But the little uh... Frankenstein? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Not to be blunt. Hey, but wouldn't that be a really cool pour shape like a Frankenstein head? Oh gosh, yes. Mm, like ghosts? You guys. Ghosts? Frank Oh, I feel a Halloween kit coming. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, with glow in the dark. Candy cone, candy corn. Oh, candy cone. <laughs> candy corn, corn. Okay, hey. Hey, that's all right. At least okay. I didn't pick Frankenstein colors. From no me. kidding. It's so trade up Frank. Okay. I'm giving you a hot five. Yep. All right. Now I have covered every bit of this with my two colors. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work. So then what I'm going to do. I have to think through. So I'm going to be swiping across it with a wet popsicle stick. And I have to kind of, I'm going to go this way. That's the way I want because I want it to be horizontal and landscapey. Imagine this in like oranges and yellows and coppers <laughs> would be much better than Frankenstein, but whatever. Okay. So what I'm going to do, hmm. All right, I'm going to pour some here because I want to dip my popsicle stick. I'm going to cover that layer probably part the way down. See, I'm going the opposite direction, and it sits on the top. I don't want to let it sit too long, and I'm dipping my popsicle stick because I want it to be wet, and I want it to run across the top. People use wet paper towels for this. I feel like a popsicle stick will work, though. All right, cross your fingers, everybody across the world, cross your fingers. Here we go. I'm barely touching the top. I need to do a little bit more. That didn't, I want, I want it to, yeah. And then I need to do over here. I am not left-handed. Ooh, that's hard. The cells are popping up. That's pretty nifty Kinarino. Yeah. Again, imagine this in a better color palette. There we go. That was a little smoother. I'm not scraping the wood. I'm literally just going, not right on the top, but I'm going, I'm pushing a little bit. And like, I want to try to get a certain look. Mm, I cannot do that. I'm going to try it left hand. Hold on. Let me control my left hand a little bit. My left hand wants to gouge the paint. There we go. There we go. Okay. I feel like that got the look I was going for. Not the colors, but the look. Okay. And I'm going to let that sit. It's going to continue to change a little bit. But not too bad. And again... I've it looks like I've created tan. So don't do green, purple, and white unless you really love this color palette. But imagine it in reds and oranges and corals and yellows and it maybe even like a turquoise or like tan on the bottom would be like a desert kind of feel. 
I don't know. I wanted to try it and I thought I would do it with you. So swipe. I think it's okay. Oh, I should not hold it up. That was the swipe. And then the flip cup is still moving. Still wet. Looks awesome over there. And then the baby. Oh, the baby's cute. So cute. I think this is a good color palette. So dark green, metallic, and white is available. You'll see that as one of the numbers. Um, not so much on this one, but I like the method. I do think that that looks really cool and like southwestern because it's very horizontal versus being random like the flip cup does. Anyway, the kit is available. Oh, bouncy phone. Is available now, uh, $10. So we're going to do this one at $10. Um, so it's just like our turtle and our flower pours. And if I can get into it, it's not ready yet, but I'll make it one of the, it is one of the options that you can choose for a family pour pack. Uh, I just have to get the system updated that it will do that. Okay, right now it only says turtles and flowers. I'll add the cactuses as well. Oh, let me see your tree. Oh. So we, about a year ago, not even a year ago, y'all remember I had those, um, we did pumpkin pours, which is a win, and we'll do it again. But I tried to do a Christmas tree pour, and it it was a fail. It's mm -hmm. a straight-up fail project. But I have the Christmas trees. So Barbara Joy put this together yesterday. We think nautical tree, because it is Christmas in July, mm -hmm. and then a bunch of stars, starfish stars, to make your decorations for Christmas. So stay tuned. This is coming because I think that's precious. I think it turned out really cute. It did turn out pretty cute. It came cute. into Christmas tree this morning. All right, you guys. Thanks for sticking it out. I'll show you one more time. So this was the new weird swipe method. I'll try that on like a turtle or something. I'll get better and teach you how to not mess it up. But I think it worked. I mean, I don't think it mm -hmm. didn't work. I just think the color palette's really mucking it up. So, all right. $10 cactus pour. Um, stay tuned. I'll be back on to show you um, another boho project later. Take care. Bye.